We've learned about two methods to find the volumes using the integration. One is called the cylindrical slices and another one is the cylindrical shells. The only difference is that in the first case, the inside of the cylinder is fu full, full filled. And the second one, there is a hole inside the cylinder. In the first way, what we're going to do is we're going to create a lot of slices and we are going to find the volume of those slices by multiplying the area of the base. So this is going to be the base and we can find this area by uh, using the radius and I have to multiply this to the h. h in our case is going to be delta x. So what we have to do is we need to create the area function and we are going to integrate this with respect to the x from, for example, zero until this point, let's say b. And what we have to do with the cylindrical shells is that we're going to find the volume of the cylindrical shells in a slightly different form. The radius is going to be the, the distance from the center of the cylinder until the midpoint of its walls. And we ha have to know also the thickness of its walls. So the thickness is going to be delta R and the height. So if you know the three things, we can find its volume, volume of the cylindrical shell, is going to be equal to the two pi multiplied to the radius, multiplied to the height multiplied to the delta r. So what we have to do is we need to integrate the uh, two pi radius h with respect to the x from a to the b in order to find the volume. So the two methods, and in this, in this video, we're going to talk about the example where we can find the volume using both of the methods, and we're going to see how we can do this. So let's say we're given the function, so this function, which is given as the y is equal to the square root of x. So what I have to do is we need to rotate this function around the x-axis, and then uh, we have to find the volume of the object which we have created by rotating this function around the x-axis. So the first thing which we have to do is we need to figure out the function of the area. So what is going to be this area, right? So this area is going to be the radius. So the radius is going to be, do you see? So the height of this point actually, right? So if I know the coordinates of this point, then I can find the radius. So if I choose some point x, then the radius is going to be equal to the y, which is equal to the square root of x. So depending on where is my point, I know what is going to be the radius. For example, if I choose the point here where x is equal to 0 0.3, then the height of the slice is going to be equal to the square root of 0 0.3, right? Because the coordinates of this point is going to be 0 0.3 and square root of 0 0.3. Nice. So this is going to be our slice, by the way. So um, the, the, the next thing which we have to do is we need to find out the function of the area. So the function of the area is going to be equal to the pi r square. That's going to be pi multiplied to the radius is equal to the square root of x, which is x simply whenever we take its square. And we have to integrate this with respect to the x from zero to the one in this case. Let's integrate this. Whenever we integrate this from zero to the one, pi multiplied to the x dx, its integration is going to be pi x squared over t. And we have to integrate this from zero to the one. If we put the one, it's going to be pi over t. If we put the zero, it's going to be simply zero. So, so this is pretty much straightforward and simple. Now let's make our life more difficult and try to find its volume using the cylindrical shells. So it's not going to be a standard as, as the previous examples. It's going to be a little bit complicated. It requires more creativity in order to find the volume in this case. So let's say I'm, I'm given the, the function again in the same way.
Well, this is our object, right? So we have rotated this object around X axis. And we obtain it uh, this, this figure. So what we have to do is we need to put a lot of cylindrical shells like this. So it's, it's really difficult for us to imagine what's going on if you have this orientation of the figure. So this is the x-axis and this is the y-axis. So the idea would be to just rotate this to the 90 degrees. So let's rotate this. Then it's going to be easier for us to create the cylindrical shells. So the idea is like this. So I'm, I would like to choose some point um, he, he, here on the, on the y-axis. I'm going to choose some point then I'm going to create the cylindrical shell here. So this is going to be our cylindrical shell. Well, roughly like this. Then we can find the volume of the cylindrical shell. So in this case, what I have to know is I need to know the height of the cylindrical shell. And also I have to know the radius of the cylindrical shell, right? So in this case, it's going to be the radius of the cylindrical shell. So the radius here is going to be, so this point is going to have X and Y coordinates. So the radius is going to be the Y coordinate. Y coordinate is going to be the radius, right? And the height is going to be the X coordinate. So this is going to be the X coordinate. And our cylindrical shells, like we have to create a lot of cylindrical shells by choosing the points on the y axis. So obviously, our points, we have to do the integration with respect to the y. So in this case, from we have to do the integration from zero until this point, until one. So what I have to do is I'm going to find the volume by integrating so two pi multiplied to the radius multiply to the height, and we have to integrate this with respect to the y, because we're going to put a lot of cylindrical shells, where the radius of the cylindrical shell is going to obviously depend on the, um, on the points y. And we have to integrate this from zero to the one. So the only thing which we have to do now is, we need to know what's going to be the function of the radius, which is going to obviously depend on the, on the y, so which is going to be simply y, and the height. So height should depend on the also for the x. I can't just write this as the x coordinate of the point. So we know that this function, this function is equal to the y is equal to the square root of x, right? So if I give you y, what's going to be the x? So well, so I'm going to take the square from both of the parts, it's going to be y square is equal to the x, right? So if I give you the, uh, the x, then the y is going to be, so, sorry, if I give you the y, so I choose, I fix some point here, y. If I give you y is equal to the 0 0.5, you know that x is going to be the square of the 0 0.5, right? So if y is equal to the 0 0.5, then x is equal to the 0 0.5 in the square. We couldn't really do this in this form, right? So if I give you, hey, what's the uh, x? If I give you y is equal to the 0 0.5, you have to square this anyway. So now, so, if, so for the fixed y, the height, which is equal to the, so you can see from here, right? So the height is going to be the x coordinate because we have rotated this graph to the 90 degrees. So the height is going to be the x coordinate, which is equal to the y in the square. So we've got this formula. So now we just need to do the integration. So we are going to do the integration from zero to zero, one, two pi multiplied to the radius, which is y, multiplied to the height, which is y in the square. And we have to integrate this with respect to the y. So this is y cube. Its integration is going to be a y in the power of four over four. We have to integrate this from zero to the one. If you substitute the one, it's going to be two pi multiplied to the one in the power of four over four. Minus, if I substitute the zero, it's going to be simply zero. So if I substitute the two and four, it's going to be simply pi over two. I've got the same answer as the previous one, right? So actually, these two volumes are the same, and we can find this using these two methods. 
So in this example, we've seen that we can do this in both of the ways. So in, a, in the next videos, we're going to see that depending on the situation, we're going to use different methods.